Hey, Luke here. So, I finally got my uh, free agent external hard drive working. Um, the problem was, it's a USB one, the problem was it would just die all of a sudden during transfers. Uh, it would work for a little while after it started and then it would die. And then you'd reboot and try to plug it back in again and it would be done almost instantly. So I noticed when I came home and the heat was not running all day, obviously, because I was at work. Um, plugged it in. Worked a little bit longer, because it was cold in the apartment. It's cold as winter time. Um, but died. So I finally figured out how to get it to work constantly. Now, what I'm trying to do is, um, I'm selling this laptop here. And I need to get my data off it. It's about 50 gigs of stuff. And right now I'm transferring this 35 gig uh, folder over here. Uh, I guess I can't macro in there. Let me let me show you. Uh, let's macro. 35 gigs. So anyway, how do I get it to finally start working? Here's the solution. That's right. You gotta throw it in the fridge. Right there. Let me turn off the fridge light so you can see her glowing and working away. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's finally working for once. Apparently some heating issues with this particular Seagate drive. Um... Yeah, so... 35 gigs. It's gonna be done in 1 minute and 10 seconds there. I'm so happy I finally got it working. Success. The, uh... The drive is almost complete, 45 seconds away. So if your Seagate drive is having any sort of uh, issues dying out in the middle of transfers, put it in the fridge. Now you may have the obvious follow-up question. What happens when I get it off my laptop, all the data, onto my free agent drive in the fridge, and then I need to get it back on a desktop machine? I mean, unless you have a fast network or, you know, a network cable. This is not a problem in the first place, but I got kind of a, I got this all-in-one, you know, Motorola surfboard cable modem slash router, which only has one network jack in it for now. I should get a switch or something, I know, but I don't have one yet. Anyway, so what do you do once you get your data off if you don't have a, a good network setup? And Wi-Fi can be slow to transfer unless you have uh, N, wireless N. Anyway. The answer to the question is, if you cannot mate your refrigerator with your desktop machine, you may think, oh, well, I can put it in the fridge and then it'll be cold and I'll quickly transfer the stuff off onto my PC or my other machine. No, no, I tried it. It failed after like, hmm, I don't know, five minutes the thing got too hot. So the actual solution is, what you do is wait until winter time, okay? And then, you know, verify just to show, you know, right now it's about 51 degrees outside. So, you know, I kind of gave it away there. Yeah, what you have to do is you take your drive, usually it sits there, and you hook it up, and you put it outside. Like so. There she glows. So you put your drive... <clears throat> outside of your apartment or home in order to be able to get the data off of there. As you can see, we're outside here. Yeah. Now, of course, if the wind blows or something, this thing's gonna fall all the way down and be destroyed, but, you know, whatever. Um, hopefully you'll get your data off first. And then... That's just about it, I think. Yeah, so if you cannot mate your refrigerator with your machine, can you put them close enough? You have to put your computer close enough to an outside area and wait for the winter time. And you're good to go. As you can see, as you can see, it's uh, almost done here. Yeah, so that's how you do it.